Shanghai, New York, Mumbai. The Gapminder video with Hans Riesling. Shanghai, New York, and Mumbai in Maharashtra. They are great cities, big ports and center of trade in the three big nations. Now I'm going to compare these three, just these three, by moving over to a chart that we call gaps within China, India and US. And look, Mumbai in 1981 had an infant mortality rate of 119. That means that about 11% of the children died during their first year of life. And their income in comparable dollars was just about $1,200 per person. Whereas Shanghai had a much lower infant mortality rate and a higher income. And of course, New York was even richer and had a lower infant mortality rate. Now I will start these countries and you will see what has happened in the last generation. I mean, in the last 25 years. Here we go. You can see that first, the, the infant mortality rate is falling in the Mumbai area, and in Shanghai it is also falling, and then the economic growth starts in both India and in Shanghai, and they catch up with New York in these last years very fast. And the last statistic is from 2006, and this is where, where, where we are. I can show all the states of the United States, which are yellow down here, the green in China, and the red states in uh, India. And if I take them back to 1981, you can see that there was very little overlap in 1981. But what has happened is that today we have an overlap between the states of US and the provinces of China, and we have an overlap between the provinces of China and the states of India. It's a continuum. And, and, and who is here in the front? Who is here in the front? It's Washington DC. They have the highest income per person, and yet they have an infant mortality rate of 14, almost highest in all the states of the US. And, and the corresponding, if I look at the, the capital of China, it's Beijing, and the capital of India is Delhi. And you can see that these three capital areas, it seems, though statistic, is slightly unreliable because classification may differ. But it's very clear that the range of infant mortality in Beijing with best estimates seem to be a little lower today than it is in Washington, D.C. And in Washington, in the United States, we have very good statistics. So it's very reliable. And this statistic tells us that the reason for the high level in, in Washington, D.C. is entirely due to the very sadly high infant mortality rate among the Afro-American, which are registered as black in the census. And, and, and in Delhi, have now also much lower infant mortality, but they are uh, falling down faster. Now, how come that Washington has such a high infant mortality rate? America wins all the Nobel Prizes in medicine, almost. Huh? And, and, and they have great physicians and nurses. It's the health system that doesn't work. And President Obama now would like to improve that. And the best way to follow if he succeeds is to look at infant mortality rate in Washington, D.C., year by year, which you can do in gaps within US on Gapminder's webpage.